Welcome back to Walls a Day, where our Walls today is Star Blazer, a 1982 release running here on the Apple II Plus in Virtual 2. From Brotobun Software and StarCraft, developed by Tony Suzuki, it's Star Blazer. It says uh, 15th of December 1981, copyright there. I guess this was actually published in 1982, though. got a joystick uh, connected here. It's running the Apple II Plus because it says that this uh, won't run on later models. Uh, once again, this is a game that I played a ton of as a kid, and I'm not sure how because I think we had an Apple IIe. But uh, yeah, this game is incredible in my memory. Um, <laughs> let's get into it and see how that holds up. Uh, we got three ship left. I'm taking one right now. We got fuel. I've got bombs. We got blasters. So I can go down here and bomb. And uh, mission one is bomb the radar. Uh, so each mission uh, changes and it's really difficult. I think the next one is like a tank and then I'm not sure after that. I, I don't know how far I got in this game as a kid. Uh, I don't know how far I'll get today. You can refuel uh, with these packages that uh, fills up your bombs too. You get points for stuff. But yeah, this game, uh, I played a ton of, um, the sound design in this game, like those little clicks and crunches, this is another game where it's like a very crunchy sound to it, and like everything explodes into pixels. Uh, that was a radar there that I bombed, so I got that. You gotta look out for the radar sometimes, it's very hard to see. So now we gotta attack the tank. I don't know how much of this game we're gonna see, because you'll see the difficulty curve on this. <laughs> Catching up with the tank, not easy. I don't remember um, what the strategy was <laughs> now, so we'll see. We'll see how far I get. Tony Suzuki also worked on Apple Galaxian and uh, Alien uh, Typhoon, also for the Apple II. I think we've looked at Apple Galaxian. I don't know if we've looked at Alien Typhoon yet. I should be thinking about attacking the tank, though. You can see everything just explodes into pixels. It's great. I think you gotta kinda like try to sneak up on the tank. Maybe you have to be up high and then dive down low. But I think it's game over. I had a score of 1440 that time. Press the button to get back into it. See how far we can get uh, here in Star Blazer. Always be bombing. That's my motto. Gotta get the fuel, though. And, of course, uh, things can shoot that little parachute. Oh, man, there's the radar right there, but I, you see, I can't really get it. I just uh, probably shouldn't have tr tried to get it. I'm trying to remember if there's any way to destroy those towers. Um, like, if you can get right at the threshold and shoot them? Let's see. Figure out some uh, Star Blazer Pro Strats. No. Can't shoot him, I don't think. I think you can also drop the package on things to blow them up. So that is a strategy if you can't get to the radar and you happen to time it right. I could be wrong on that. Gotta practice my bombing. I can't really tell if I've missed a concealed radar already. Oh man, like, see, they just put it right there just to be cruel. I think bombs will also get stuck in trees. So a tree will uh, guard a radar. As long as we're doing on okay on fuel, we're okay. I'm trying to remember if you ever get any jets in this level or not coming after you. There's a time element to this. Got it. Mission one complete. Also, don't know if there's a way to get bonus uh, planes. Oh man, like this is just 
Very intense. Like, even there, the tank is going up. Oh, maybe I need to shoot my package onto the tank. Maybe that's the strategy for this level, now that I talk about it. Let's try that. Maybe that's why I remember that, I don't know. Let's get back into it here with Starblazer and see. Pretty generous on the bombs, I gotta say. The controls on this game it just it just feel good. Like despite the chaos that you can get into. Oh man. Oh I don't I don't think I got it. Right after I was pressing the controls, the controls uh, sabotage me. <laughs> That's the way these games are, you know. I don't really have a good sense for why sometimes I get a bomb drop and sometimes I don't. That's the one thing about the controls I don't really... Forget about bombing, you need to... <laughs> ah. I get that. Nope. They'd love to put the... the radar there. I mean, if you were a radar, you wouldn't want to be out it's unprotected. It's a recipe for disaster. Couldn't get it. Sure. <laughs> Maybe there's some way to get that that I'm uh, missing. You can see the, the tree protecting it there. Okay, good. I was gonna say, if I didn't get that... Do I refuel at the start of the level? Let's see. Oh no, you don't. Now let's try dropping a package on this. Oh no. I do kind of want to see what Mission 3's objective is. I'm trying to remember. It's like an ICBM, maybe? D destroy the ICBM, I think. Does that sound familiar to anybody? Is that game over? Yes. Get back into it. Starblazer. This is just a, uh, also a great... Let's just get back into it one more try. Let's go, let's go again. Kind of game. Apparently there were Atari 8-bit and MSX ports of this. I've never seen those. Maybe we'll take a look. See what's out there. Come on, Radar, show yourself. Not there. Somewhere else, where I can bomb you. Couldn't throw it. Sometimes you can do a bomb like that. Sometimes I, sometimes I can't do it. No luck, no luck. Oh no, I could have got that, but I was too busy refueling. And getting a bullet past those uh, towers doesn't destroy them. Good to know. 
I think it, I think it may be possible to bomb the towers, but I could be wrong on that. Got it? Bird's trying to steal my package. You saw that. Right as I complete my mission. That, that can also happen. <laughs> oh, man. Did you see that? That was close. The, the other problem with trying to drop a package on this level is the planes will hit it too, but I need also fuel. Getting crazy here. Well, I think the first time I might have accidentally, uh, the first time I actually might have got this tank was uh, a plane might have clipped the package, dropped it on the tank, and destroyed it. S see how hard that is to bomb? Maybe you can bomb the tank and you just have to be really good at it, but I don't know how. See? Oh, no. The plane almost did the dirty work for me, but that cactus got it instead. Man. This is... It's nine more fuel up here. Oh! That... What? That bird got it. I'm gonna die out here, aren't I? Because I'm gonna run out of fuel. Yep. Empty fuel. Don't want to see that. You got one... Yeah. One last attempt here. Attack the tank. Oh, man. That was a terrible attempt. Game over. Let's get back into it and see what we can do. I wonder if the RNG ever gives you a radar right off the bat. Probably not. I've never seen one. Have you? Gotta get it before the bird does. Looking out for radar. So I can bomb it. I'm not gonna bomb that one. Or that one, I don't think. Good? Nope. Can't quite. Oh, this one looks bombable. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Bomb the radar. Mission 1 complete. It says attack the tank that is, uh... A little bit, a little bit trickier. We've all seen it. You can try your own hand at it. Maybe I'll look up and see if anybody, <laughs> anybody can successfully directly bomb this tank. Is that a thing that people do? Oh no! It didn't run into the explosion. You've only got so much, uh, so much slack there, it looks like. Oh man, you gotta time it. Where you can... I guess you could make... you could chase the tank into the explosion. Maybe that's a t uh, strategy. Let's try that. Oh man. Gotta thread the needle. Attack the tank. Thread the needle. Also, the, the constant terrifying noise of the jets in this game is... <laughs> for Apple II games, which rarely have sound like this... Now you gotta shoot the... Oh, no. Nope. That didn't work. It has to explode on the tank, it looks like. Fuel is not looking good for us right now. Empty fuel. Game over. I think that's a new high score. Get back into it. See if we can attack the tank. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to uh, see that today. Give it another go here. Let's 
This is definitely an old school difficulty game. I think it only gets worse past uh, <laughs> past the attack of the tank stage. Is my my recollection from childhood. Right, once again, this is probably like the first time in about 30 years that I've seen this game. I couldn't even remember the name of this game. There we go, bomb the radar. That was a pretty good, uh, pretty good bomb the radar stage. I gotta say, the RNG favored us. Wow. Oh man. Waste of a perfectly good uh, run there. Uh, I'm not sure what happened there. I think I had uh, a Bluetooth uh, controller malfunction just there. Oh, <laughs> it cost me. Wow. Cost me dearly. I'll, I'll give it one more try. I've, I've switched to wired now. Uh, <laughs> I should have done that beforehand. No one I was going to get into with uh, Star Blazer here. Of course the controller would give out in your time of need. Nineteen eighties games don't have time for wireless controllers. Let's see if I can shoot just the parachute. <laughs> If it turns out that there's no way to drop a package on something to blow it up, then I really don't know how you're supposed to get that tank, um, <laughs> or how I ever got it in the past. I'm pretty sure I've got past that stage before. I think also as a kid, I was very hung up on trying to get the radar when it was between uh, towers there. So just waiting. Because you can just wait. It's fine. See if we can do this. With a wired controller. Maybe the strategy is just hang out at the top here. Oh, does that count? Please let that count. Are you kidding me? I was trying to push the tank into the explosion, but it got it anyway, and I died because, oh man, it didn't count it. But it does work. You saw what happened. All right, let's hang out at the top here. Man, oh, that's frustrating. Should I just let the planes do the, do the parachute cutting for me? Seems like maybe so. Oh no. Oh no. That was uh, terrible for all involved. Man, I was so close. I, I probably didn't even have to push the tanks to get it to explode. So uh, if I had just hung back, it would have been fine. That's Star Blazer for you. There we go. Mission 2 complete. Oh man, we're going to get to see Mission 3. Bomb the ICBM, I, my... 30 year recollection of this game was correct. That's insane. And you can see uh, how hard this game gets. <laughs> These guys are trying to destroy you. Uh, those balloons will destroy you. Those guys will destroy you. Everything will destroy you in this game. And you need to bomb the ICBM. That's what you need to be doing. While all this is going on. And we ran out of fuel. Oh man. That's game over here for Star Blazer. Oh, wow. Do I want to try it again? Let's try it again. Dangerous times here in Star Blazer. 
I really I, I don't know if I've ever seen past the ICBM stage. I don't remember what's past that. So maybe I saw it once or twice, but Bomb the ICBM was definitely in my memory. Um Uh, I don't know if I can... Did I get it? Yes! Off to a... Okay start, let's say. Attack the tank! I think, I think it's just like a misleading uh, title because it encourages you to try to literally attack the tank, which you really can't do. <laughs> There we go. Mission 2 complete. Pro uh, strats for Star Blazer here. We're about to run out of fuel, though. Does shooting consume your fuel faster? I don't know. I don't, I don't think uh, it matters either way. Because <laughs> we're going to die. At least we have some extra lives this time. So, bring some extra lives into stage 3. Because you got to use your resupply to... <laughs> To blow up the tank. So you can try to bomb the ICBM. Pro Strat, take care of those planes, because they're just going to be bad news for you. I don't know how long you'll go before seeing the ICBM in the stage. I'm trying to remember if they will also destroy the uh, re resupply. This is getting crazy. <laughs> oh, man. Have you seen an ICBM? Oh, jeez. This is extremely intense. Trying to even... Oh, man, there it is. There it is. Oh, th that's the ICBM right there. Oh, man. So do we start out having to wait for the ICBM again or not? I don't know. Feels like we shouldn't have to, but... It's an 80s game. We're not about uh, fairness here. Like, right now, they're probably going to put the ICBM. While well, I'm trying to get a re resupply. Because that's how they would do it. So there's the ICBM. Does that count? Probably not. Oh, that's game over. New high score, though. Uh, but I think that's going to do it here for me with Starblazer for Waza Day. Maybe I'll go back and revisit this at some point and try to get past... Uh, stage 3 there, but uh, yeah, if you like uh, interesting early Apple II games like this, then go ahead and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow for our next Walza Day.